All right, guys, first order of business, we're going to play with the uh, 37 millimeter reloading stands. So we've got three here. These are all the stand number one. This is the most versatile stand. Stand number one, it makes better bangers as well as regular bangers and star clusters. It works quite well with three inch tubes, better banger fuse for more confinement. Also works well with the two and a quarter inch tubes. These are all powder saver tubes. The stands will work with other types of tubes that are one inch inside diameter, but I recommend for best results always using my powder saver tubes. So they're very easy to use. You just slide your tube over and you press your disc down onto the stand. It's going to give you an easy, reliable standoff for you to put your delay fuse. Insert your delay fuse and you're ready to go. So we're just going to load these up here. Now again with the three and a three inch tube and the stand number one it gives you a standoff inside the tube that's going to get a much thicker end plug so you're going to have more pressure development by having more more glue plug in there. Put your better banger fuse in. Once you've got your fuses in we're going to fill them up with glue and it just gives you a nice consistent glue plug. Now I thought since we got the three inch tubes out we might as well use a stand number two to make a larger star cluster effect round with the three inch tube. So we're going back to the standard fuse, standard glue plug, and that one. So once you've got that done, we're going to fill them up with glue. All right, once you've got your discs and your delays in, the gluing process is made very quick and simple. You just fill up the cavity above the fuse with hot glue. And the nice thing about these stands is you can do multiple at once. Just filling them up with hot glue. You can actually get pretty quick at this. I'm going to center your fuse here. And just go right down the line, filling things up. Now if your hot glue is getting really hot, you're going to want to let it rest for a couple minutes. I always try to keep a couple of hot glue guns running just so I can continue to keep the process moving. Especially if I have a number of stands, rounds in a row. Just filling them up in a timely manner is sort of helpful. Again, you know, the stand's doing all the work of holding things in place. So really, it's pretty nice. You can get a rhythm and you can uh, crank a fair amount out. Pretty short order. And extra hot glue guns sort of allow that to sort of flow a little bit more smoothly here. So another little tip is sometimes you'll get a little glue on the edge and if you let that glue cool, it'll peel right off. So now we got these filled up, we're going to let them rest, let them cool a little bit. We'll put the pushing discs on and then it'll be time to do either our burn rate catalyst black powder or crackle media. Uh, again, I'm just going to center these just so it makes 
the process of putting the uh, push discs on a little easier. So we're just going to let these rest for a couple minutes and we're going to finish things up. Okie doke. So we uh, let these rest a little bit, let them cool a little bit. You can see that they uh, shrunk down just a touch and any little bubbles came right up to the top so we can fill those in. So uh, I usually let them rest for about 5-10 minutes and if you're doing a whole bunch in a row you know by the time you get down to one end the the beginning one is almost all ready for the next step. So basically all you do with the next step and this is hard to show while I'm filming but you put a bead of glue all around the rim and in here a little extra and then you slide your push disc over the top sandwiching the glue and sealing it off so you have a nice good pushing surface so the pressure of your load doesn't blow the plug through that's a nice thing about push discs so you just put your uh, puddle of glue put your push disc over the top maybe peel off any uh, any extra and then once that's cool you're ready to fill it up so I'm gonna top these off and we'll get these things finished up okay this is what they look like when the push disc has been properly seated with glue you can see that the push disc is glued down fuse is nice and centered I don't know if you guys can see in there but you can see down in the fuse there's plenty of fuse inside sometimes I'll tuck the fuse in with my finger too if you need more confinement it's the better banger uh, round it's got a nice thick end plug so you can see it's nice thick you'll get thick end plugs on both sides again you can depress the fuse to get that extra bit of uh, end plug in there just push that in. Smaller ones for crackle bangers, bangers and clusters, star clusters. Again, glued down real nice, nice and sturdy. Handle a lot of chamber pressure. So these are ready to load up. Basically what I do is I tuck this fuse down. I'll add either crackle media or report comp uh, for the uh, the larger payload, 3 inch, number 2 stand, you can fit a lot of stars in there, which is really handy for signaling. So, I'm going to fill these up the rest of the way, and then we'll shoot some. 